Gamers, Mind Daily here, back with episode 3 of my redstone tutorial. So, this week is going to be my first build. So, this is going to be the first thing that I've done where it's an actual item that you could put into your house. So, this is to do with a new enchanting system. Let me just grab a tool and say a diamond sword. So, what this will do, what this uh, product is going to do, is make it so you can change the level of enchantments just by moving a few levers. <coughs> so this uses pistons, uh, block transfer, like length, stuff like that. Um, <coughs> and also, obviously, the enchanting stuff. So at the moment, you can see it's two or three. But by simply just putting a piston with a bookcase, two blocks apart from the enchanting table, and then making it so that it goes one closer, you can increase the uh, level of the enchantment. So that's gone up by a few levels. Not that much. But you do this one as well, and that one, and that one, and then you do it, and you get 15, 17. So you can get a real range of levels by simply just switching around this technique. So this is the upgraded version, you could say. Um, this has two lots of five, so that it c fills in the corners. It's too high. And you simply do this by, well, let's just, just expose this, putting a uh, torch and then a block against that. And a redstone repeater going into that. And then you just do that on all sides. That's how you can get a lot of pistons in a row to work. And this means that you basically can just enchant to a higher level. So let's just flip all these levers. You'll see because it's going through a torch, the uh, current is inverted. See, it's kind of difficult to get into this one, but... So yeah, you're getting a lot higher spells because you've got a lot more... Um, a lot more bookcases. And you can just... Take off a couple. And that'll mean that you get a little bit lower. You see there, in the 20s. So, that's all great and all, but... The only thing with this is that you can't get into it without having one of the things open. So this is uh, my example of how you could put this into a house. So this would be the room, the entrance to your thing. All these piston, all these levers, sorry, control the amount of um, bookcases uh, that are presented. So the more levers that are up, the higher the enchantment will be. So let's say we have all of them, and you can go in. So, and then just have a ladder going in, and then you can see you have a working one, and you just literally just hide all of this stuff into your house. You could obviously connect the pistons and all the enchanting bit underground, so then you don't have to have all this exposed, and you literally just hide all the redstone going downwards. You can see this is just wired up with a simple pattern, but if you want to look at one of the previous episodes I did on uh, signal lengths, you can see how you could transport the signal downwards or upwards. Um, so yeah, that's it for the enchantment bit, guys, and then I've just got a little bit of a bonus for you. So I found a way of making an instant piston door. Sorry about the frame drop. So what this will do is it will open instantly, so you can run at it, and it will still open. So I'll give you a quick look at how you build one of these. It's really simple. And it obviously works on both sides. So this is really easy to make. You've got an inverter there. Going to a torch with a torch above it and a block. And this comes from a massive cluster of redstone. So what this will do is it will pick up from the other pressure plate and this pressure plate. And on both sides also. And it's literally just a torch going around to there. You only need to put this on one side, obviously, because you've got all that medley of redstone there. So yeah, guys, hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to play the game and also to my channel. Uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. And don't forget to leave a comment on anything that you'd like me to show you how to build. Other than that, guys, I uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.